Hey, this is Jay from the Unnamed Podcast. So I've been doing this over a year. And as I was discussing to a friend of mine, I didn't think that I would do this for over a year. I also didn't think I'd live for this long. Well, that's a story for another day. What I'm doing today is kind of um, a thesis statement, if you will. An explanation for what the channel is. So what I do here is kind of explore the arts. For the most part, my focus is music because I did that for a very long time. I was actually in several bands, most notably The Twin, which I'll play here. also in All Cut Up, which I'll play just a segment of here.
of Zinchen's procedures, which I'll play a segment of here. I was also in Storybook Heroes, which I don't have a recording for. I was an audio engineer for a little bit, and I recorded the Susanna No Pants EP, which I'll play a clip of here. I'm 
focus tends to be on metal and punk solely because I find those subcultures so fascinating and so I'll just say they're fascinating so one thing that did happen was I died and that is why I left the music industry as a whole uh, when I came back to life that sounds so weird if you want to know more about my death, I wrote a book called You're Not Dead, available on my website, welterhero.com. That is my personal blog. I do a lot of updates there. Let's talk about the update schedule here. There's the one. When I have time, I record one of these. When I feel like it, a formula for these little, I call them podcasts. I do release them on Spotify. I'll put the link down in the description. Unless you're listening to this on Spotify, in which case I'll put the YouTube link in the description for the episode. I don't know whether the picture helps. Some people swear it does. Some people fucking hate it. Regardless, I film these all in one take. Usually sans script. And that is... Evident by how I just kind of ramble and some of my points don't really make Well, though my points always do make somewhat sense Why I jump between topics so often to go back on the topic of the music industry and me and music and arts and stuff like that. I ran a record label for a little bit unsuccessful It's basically An ego boost because a large part of my thing in the arts has always been ego. I don't feel bad for that. And I don't feel bad saying that. Part of releasing anything... Well, a big part of releasing anything is you have to release something. As an arts kid, I realize this wholeheartedly. But a part of it is this... Assuming that people give a shit about what you think and what you say. Whether that be in a visual metaphor, acting, writing, music, 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 music. So anyway, this marks number 23 of podcast releases. I've done a few anyway with picture as well as sound. I usually put music in. It's usually my own because you see aforementioned being an arrogant fuck. But now I'm going to play a song by Die Hex. By far one of my favorite bands out of Ontario. Uh, yeah. <laughs>
I end every episode telling you I love you. But that is 100% genuine. You're beautiful. You're fantastic. Someone gave me shit the other day for saying that. I'm not saying it so much. I posted something where I sent it to a few individuals. And I ended up the same with I love you. And they're like, I thought that you love me. I do love you. And I love you. And I love you. We don't say that enough to everyone. And there's always the chance you won't get to say it again. And I don't mean so much that person will die. Because that's somewhat cliche and kind of obvious at this point. But we often forget you might die. So make sure you say it. I love you. This has been Jason Gurdon and the Alien Podcast.